What a wild day in the world of trading. One of the biggest prop firms, MyForex Funds, has been totally frozen. Canada and US regulators have frozen their accounts and frozen their permissions to trade. And the reason for that has become a little bit more clear now. But what does this mean for the future of the prop trading industry? Is this the end of prop firms? And is this the end of MyForex Funds? Well, first of all, let's take a look at MyForex Funds official statement. Their website has now totally gone into maintenance mode. And what we see is this message instead. Yesterday, we learned that without prior notice or discussion, a provincial securities regulator in Canada and the commodities regulator in the United States issued orders preventing us from trading securities or accessing funds in our bank accounts. So they say until these freeze orders are lifted or modified, our business is effectively and at least temporarily frozen as well. Now, when I first saw this news, I was quite optimistic. I thought it was just going to be a broker problem because of Traders Global Group. It's basically their own broker that they made. And I figured it was probably something to do with licensing or regulation around that broker. So I figured once they ironed that out, they'd probably just get back to trading as usual. However, I've actually seen this now, which is a temporary order. So this is from the Capital Markets Tribunal. And this is what could actually lead some ripple effects into the larger prop industry. And this is something we definitely want to consider when choosing what kind of prop firms we want to work with. So looking at this temporary order in the matter of Traders Global Group, which is the broker used by MyForex Funds, and Mohamed Mutuza Kazmi, I think that's how you pronounce it. That's the CEO of the broker and of my Forex funds, uh, we can see he's actually being accused of fraud. Okay, the company and the CEO are being accused of a fraud in breach of subsection 126.1 of the Securities Act, whatever that may be. So if we take a look at some of the bullet points that I believe could affect the larger prop industry and the ones we want to focus on, it's going to be points C and D. Okay, so point C, for the vast majority of MyForexFunds.com investors, trading is simulated by Traders Global Group, with various rules in place designed to benefit TGG to the detriment of investors. And just for reference, TGG is the broker. Now, does this sound very, very familiar to a lot of the prop industry? Various rules in place designed to benefit TGG to the detriment of investors. Now, this is the problem I have with predatory prop firms. Most prop firms today are very predatory and they just want you to sign up, lose, so they can take your sign up fee. And it appears that this is actually something these regulatory bodies are taking notice of, which obviously could send shockwaves through a lot of the prop industry. I won't say all, because there are good, honest prop firms out there, but a lot of them, the majority, probably 90% plus of the prop firms in the space today are actually setting up their traders for failure. And they have this rules in place designed to benefit them to the detriment of the investors. Now, I think a lot of us already knew that a lot of the prop industry today is actually just totally be booked, basically meaning they are paying you directly out of the losses of traders that they take on and take sign up fees from. Now, once again, there are some good prop firms out there that are totally a booked and don't have this problem, but the majority do operate in this way. And I think most of us know that even if they don't admit it. So point number D elaborates upon that. Traders Global Group and Casmi may have used money received from investors to pay simulated profits to other investors and for Casmi's personal expenses. If you remember funding talent, this is the same thing that happened to them. They got in trouble for paying people out with simulated profits. Then they tried to rectify at the last minute and admit to everyone that that's what they were doing. But by that point, they'd already collapsed. Now we also see TGG may be engaged in the business of trading in securities without registration. And then we have these other things provided false and misleading information to the commission, contrary to subsection 122, whatever that may mean. So basically it seems what we have here is Traders Global Group and Casmi being accused of fraud in breach of a subsection of the Securities Act and paying people out of simulated profits and setting up rules to benefit from the detriment of investors. So people buying challenges, they lose the money and that is how my Forex funds make the majority of their profit. Now, obviously these are just the allegations here and I'm just repeating what I hear. So I'm not saying this is all 100% fact and maybe my Forex funds will be rectified from this. But these points are somewhat of a cause for concern to the majority of the prop industry because if they are concerned about prop firms putting rules in place that favor them at the detriment of investors, well, that is going to hurt a lot of the prop industry. And also if them paying simulated profits to the other investors out of the losses of the losers is a problem to them, well, then that is also most likely going to affect a lot of the prop industry as well. So although this might be pretty chaotic in the short term, and if these things do have a ripple effect into the other markets, you may lose your funded accounts. This could actually be a wonderful thing for the prop industry as a whole, because I do believe there's a massive problem with predatory marketing in the funded trading space. I notice a lot of firms nowadays having a race to the bottom with massive discounts and silly rules to try and draw you in and sell you a dream so that you'll lose your money with them and they can pocket it and become rich. So perhaps this is all proven false and my Forex funds makes a full comeback. However, perhaps this actually is a real clampdown. 
in which case we could probably expect to see 90% or more of the prop firms in existence today wiped out. But I wouldn't see that as a bad thing because that would open the door to real prop firms providing real opportunity, as opposed to prop firms being predatory and just be booking everyone, paying people losses and setting people up for failure. So I will continue to update you as we get more progress on whatever's going on with this case and whatever's going on with my Forex funds. But for now, that is all the information I've got available. I'll put a link to this webpage in the description as well if you wanna go and read it in more depth. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Is this the end of my Forex funds? And is there going to be a massive clampdown in the prop industry? Or is this just a single company case by case basis? And maybe it will be rectified and my Forex funds will make a comeback. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the video. I'll keep you updated with any progress.